Hello everyone. So in last video, I covered the topic that is conflict serializable, conflict serializability. Okay. So in today's video, I'll be solving a question related to this topic. So it is a very important topic, and you can get a number of questions from here. So this question I have taken from a gate exam. It is a gate exam question. So let's see how to solve this. So the question is: Let us consider a schedule which has got a number of transactions. So the number of operations or transactions are R two Y, R one X, R three Z, R one Y. W one X, R two Z, W two Y, R three X, and W three Z. So this is the question. The first thing is we have to draw the transaction table for this. So you can see that there are three transactions, which is denoted by one, two, and three. Okay. So it means that we have got three transactions. So let me take. Let me write this. So we have got three transactions. Sorry, it's T one, T two, and T three. Okay, we have got three transactions. Now, how to fill this table? First of all, let's see R two Y. It means that it belongs to transaction T two, and it is a read operation. So no need to write this subscript. Just write R of Y. Second one is R one X. It means that it belongs to T one transaction. So just write after R Y R of X. R three Z. So write R of Z. Again R one Y. So write R of Y. Again W one X. Write W of X. Again R two Z. Write R of Z. Again W two Y. Write W of Y. Again R three X. Write R of X. And W three Z. Write W of Z. Okay. So in this way you can draw the transaction table. Now in order to check. Whether this schedule is conflict serializable or not, we need to draw a precedence graph for this. Okay, so I have already discussed about precedence graph. So how to draw the precedence graph? So we have we have to draw the nodes, all three nodes, T one, T two, and T three. Now let us check the for each of this operation. Let us check the which is the conflicting operation for this so about conflicting operation i have discussed in previous videos so let us start from this one this operation r of y so what is the conflicting operation for this it is w of y so now let us check whether w of y is present in any other transaction other than t2 so w of y it is not there w of y it is not there if it is in self transaction it doesn't matter so no it is nowhere now after that we'll go to this so what is the conflicting operation for this it is w of x now let us check it is here no we cannot take this w of x w of x it is not there let's go to this one so the conflicting operation for this is w of z let us check w of z is it there no is it there no is it there no now let us go to this r of y the conflicting operation for this is w of y now let us check w of y yes it is in t2 so we'll draw a edge from t1 to t2 okay w of y no it is nowhere now let's go to w of x so now whenever we have got right operation it will get we will have two conflicting operation first one is w of x itself and second one is r of x okay so let's see w of x it is anywhere no it is not there r of x it is anywhere yes it is in t3 so we are going to draw edge from t1 to t3 let's go to r of z the conflicting operation for this is w of z w of z is there yes it is in t3 so we are going to draw a line from t2 to t3 now let's go check for w of y it is for r of y is r of y anywhere no it is not there now after this we will not check for these two because after this nowhere other transactions are left in the other t1 and t2 transaction that's why no need to check this now after seeing this graph what you are getting is it a cyclic graph no it is not a cycle if it was like this arrow was like this it would have formed cycle but this graph is not a cyclic not a cyclic hence we can say that it is a conflict serializable so if it is a conflict serializable what does it mean it means that it has got a serial schedule it has got a equivalent serial schedule so what is the serial schedule for this we have to check that 
so again about this i have talked in the last video so what is the how to check it is how to get the serial schedule first of all check the node which doesn't have any in degree whose in degree is zero so what is in degree in degree means no other age has come on that node so you can see t1 the in degree is zero so we are going to remove this and we are going to add it like this t1 after that can you tell me whose in degree is Okay, so can now now can you tell me which in whose in degree is zero? So if I delete this, so this all will be deleted like this. So now you can see the in degree of t two is zero. So now we'll get the node which is t two. And after removing all this, now you can see we are left with t three. So t one, t two, t three. This is the serial schedule equivalent to this parallel schedule. so this is the question and this is the solution for this so i hope you got this question now in next uh, i have got some more questions so in next video i'll complete or i'll come with some other topics also till then stay safe and thank you